How could police forget to notify a family that their loved one was found dead? That's the question Willie Floyd Miller's family wants answered tonight. He was found dead in August, August 11th specifically, and identified by police that same night. But his family was not notified. And in the three months since his death, his body was donated to science. That's an incredible story that you will see only on Fox 4 News tonight. Sean Rabb in with the exclusive report, Sean. Steve, the Dallas Police Department has the responsibility for making the death notification to family members or next of kin when someone's found dead in the city. In this case, the department admits it failed to do so. I feel like they've just disregarded my brother as though he was no one. Patrice Williams speaks for the family of Willie Floyd Miller, who died August 11th. A memorial service held for Miller this past Saturday. She last spoke with her brother August 10th. I don't know why we didn't know the day he died. I should have never had to put in a missing person report because they had him a day after I talked with him. I didn't find out he was deceased until two and a half months later. It was along these railroad tracks on Carbondale August 11th, Miller found dead in a pickup truck. So we had a detective that responded. Um, it is that detective's responsibility to follow up um, and make sure next of kin is, is notified. Deputy Chief Thomas Castro says human error is why Miller's family was not notified and the detective investigating Miller's death assigned to a quadruple shooting at a Lake Highlands area motel the same night. One person was dead at that scene. So we don't want to make it sound like we put these cases on a lower priority and they don't receive the attention but like I said you know there's human error involved and could have had his mind on, on other things that night. Miller's family never notified about their loved one. Weeks passed. Mid-September, his wife filed a missing persons report with Lancaster police where she lives. The family only learned he was dead. Our last Wednesday, which was the 16th of November. Lauren Compton, one of two attorneys representing Miller's family. This happens by uh, being extremely negligent in your duties. This family should have never had to go through anything this tragic. Miller, a father of four, had his own struggles, including prison in his past, but his family loved him. Autopsy results show Miller died from the toxic effects of cocaine. About 48 hours you're required to uh, make a diligent search. Uh, in our particular case, we kept uh, his body 10 days. The medical examiner says it tried to find next of kin, checking hospitals for medical records, including the VA, searching white pages and other government sources. We followed uh, a pretty extensive checklist and it just did not lead back to the family. November 17th, Miller's family went to the morgue. They got there and the body wasn't there. They had donated it to science. If you have someone that uh, you cannot locate the next of kin, uh, then by law you're required to offer the body to the state anatomical board, which was done in this case. Records show Miller's remains involved in a course for the studies of orthopedic research and surgery. Once they've accepted the body, they're not allowed to give a body back without cremating. And in this particular case, uh, the family received his cremains back. Dallas prides itself in, in, in delivering a satisfactory um, customer service to each citizen that we contact. And we didn't do so in this instance, and, and I apologize for that. What, what happened? No one could send their goodbyes. There was nobody. Steve Chief Castro tells me the detective's been counseled and will be disciplined and starting tomorrow retraining for all detectives in homicide and the special investigations unit, Steve, on policies and procedures when it relates to death notification to next of kin. A couple questions. I guess I'm confused. It sounds like the department thinks that detective that night could have given notification, knew who he was and could have followed up. What was it just the time? Did, did a driver's license get separated from the man? How, why did it get worse as time went along? What uh, Chief Castro said to me again today was human error. In other words, he made a mistake, dropped the ball somewhere in the context of his work. And, may, and maybe the, the morgue didn't have the same information the detective So had. the morgue gets a lot of inf information through the Dallas Police Department's Fusion Center. They have greater technology than the morgue does in terms yeah. of reaching people. They made great efforts. The phone numbers they received were no good. They'd been disconnected or belonged to other folk. But the department and the medical examiner's office adding new protocols. Did Chief Castro changes? tells me, yes, they're going to make changes uh, so that before a body is actually donated to science, the medical examiner makes one last check with the Dallas Police Department saying, hey, have you had any new information, any new updates, any new potential family members that you can contact or we can attempt to contact with next of kin notification? All right. I feel bad for the family. Glad. They have some form of uh, information, a little bit of closure, I guess. Right. This is something that's never 
happened before that anybody can recall in the city of Dallas. All right. Sean Red, thanks. Okay.